Hey, Leo Dreger here with the Code of Learning.com. Uh, if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can get some free resources that will help you on your path to being a certified ethical hacker, a licensed penetration tester, or a, just a penetration tester in general, or even somebody who's gone after the premier certifications like the OSCP uh, hacking certifications. Um, the most efficient way that I know to condense a lot of material into a small space and actually understand it is through using mind maps. So I'm going to show you how we can effectively turn about 35 slides here uh, into basically one sheet of paper. And this will by far dramatically improve how fast you can learn uh, penetration testing. So the first thing that I would want to talk about here is to get to know the authors. Whenever you take a course, you always want to get to know who your trainers are or who your authors are. So when it comes to the Certified Ethical Hacker version 9, um, you've got Scott Cote, you've got Robert Petrunik, you've got uh, Peter Branca, you've got Nabil, you've got Michael, Chris, and Antonio. You've also got myself here. Now, I'm not an official author of the CEH version 9 curriculum, but I do do my own penetration testing courses, and they are all backwards compatible with either OCSP or the new CEH version 9 exam. Another person that I highly recommend that you connect with is Joseph McCray. He offers specialty training in this space. So these are the authoritative figures, the people that are making the most impact in certification ethical hacking or penetration testing and it would behoove you to actually follow them. So now that you understand the background of who your authors are, I want to point out just some really quick stuff. There's going to be no practice exams in this section. All of my other training, when I do these per modules, they do come with uh, practice test questions that you can get at my website, thecodeoflearning.com. Um, and traditionally, the domains are either uh, the front end heavy. And what I mean by that is um, all, all of the core ethical hacking stuff really comes into the, the first five to seven modules of the training. Anything after the first five to seven modules is really what I call a la carte training. In other words, you can do them in any order. But to learn how to hack, you must go through the, you know, the, the scanning, the reconnaissance, the enumeration, the hacking, and the covering your tracks. Um, and those would be the, the zero through five setup. You can actually throw in a few extra bonuses in there like Google hacking and things like that uh, if you like. But there is no practice uh, test questions in this section. This is purely an overview and introduction to the uh, Certified Ethical Hacker or the Penetration Tester course that I do. So let's go into the class introduction. And this is where we would literally uh, go through a lot of slides really, really really quick. So in a traditional live class we would go through the introduction. Hi my name is Leo Drager and I would go around the class and learn about each of my students. When we have our online web training you would be grouped together with other people who are in a similar circumstance as you, you know people that are looking to make a difference in the field of penetration testing. So if you want to get involved with like-minded people you know our class is the, is the place to go. The course materials all of our course materials come with uh, preloaded virtual machines so you can literally just open up your virtual machine on your desktop computers at home using something as simple as VMware Player um, and it's really easy you just download the virtual machines turn them on and then you can instantly start you know penetration testing and things like that um, also it comes with the mind maps like this self-paced training where you can checklist every module off by itself um, and any other tips, tricks, study guides, cheat sheets that I have ever created uh, for the purpose of penetration testing also come with my uh, Certified Ethical Hacker slash uh, penetration testing slash OCSP uh, prep course, right? These are all designed to kind of weave in and out of each other's materials and curriculum uh, and find the common denominator. So instead of taking three classes, you realistically only have to take one penetration testing course and you will be the most most lethal penetration, penetration tester out there in the market. The next thing is the CEH um, outline and an easy way to look at this is to just open up the link. Okay, It's pretty hard to take a, a certified ethical hacker class course if you don't know what the link is. So you can find this right on the EC Council website. 
right? So uh, I highly recommend that everybody go through this and learn the landscape of the other certifications if in fact you are interested in this. This is all free material uh, provided by the vendors. So it'll talk about the typical duration of a class, five days, nine to five. Um, it'll talk about the exam details, the actual exam numbers, the approximate number of questions, at least for CEHs, 125. You have four hours to complete this, and you can take this uh, through the EC Council exam website. It's a multiple choice uh, exam, and you need a 70%. Now, if you're thinking about studying this stuff by yourself, I'd give you a word of caution. Uh, we just had a student that decided to self-study this and they, they took their exam and they got a 69.4 and that is a, a very very painful score to get because not only are you trying your exams again um, but you should be getting you know 80s and 90s and 100s on your exam not 60s and 70s. Okay, You want to be a good the penetration tester, not just another penetration tester. All right, so there are legal agreements <clears throat> in here. For example, um, not anyone can be a student, right? So you want to make sure that you work for a legitimate company and you're not out there just trying to hack the world. The new CEH version 9 exam uh, does map to the NICE framework, it's ANSI accredited. Uh, you have a lot of uh, components and members of the, the DOD, the Veterans Affairs, uh, and a few other elements in here. So this is a very, very highly uh, recognized certification if you are interested in pursuing it. All right. So that's a great resource for you to try. Also in this brochure, they talk about some of the newer domains or the names of the newer domains, and that also can help you as well. My course is backwards compatible with all of these. Um, uh, in, a, in an attempt to get you guys just absolutely the, the latest and greatest information uh, condensed and efficient and effective. The certification program that EC Council specifically offers, if you want to stay with EC Council, um, is these certifications right here. So they offer, you know, introductory certifications like uh, Security 5, the E-Certified Business Professional, and then they go into what I would suggest is more the traditional certification paths, which is a Security Specialist, the Network Administrator, the Classic CEH Version 9, the Certified uh, Hacking Forensics Investigator, Disaster Recovery, Security Analyst, Security Practitioner, Application Developer, uh, license penetration tester and also you can get a master's of security science from EC Council as well. So EC Council tends to be a great organization to get involved with if you're interested in learning about hacking and penetration testing. Um, but there are a few other courses out there as well so we want to kind of steer clear of the, the classes and instructors that are going to frankly read slides to you and waste your time and we want to get you into the actual you know hands-on uh, how to b be a penetration tester and not also you know just do the hands-on but also be able to pass any of the tests so I'm of the believer that if you can actually do the hands-on well you should have no problem you know passing your exams Okay, so that's a certification program. The next one is the certification track as well, and you can find that at the EC Council website as well. Not only um, do they have you know their classic brochure, but the EC Council website is great to learn from as well. So it's literally you just you know go to the link or search the website, and you'll get to this new CEH version nine. Uh, hacking so you can learn about CEH, who's it for, how to get started, what resources are available, all of the related courses as I discussed um, and then it goes into the specifics of the certified ethical hacker. Again you have uh, exam specific stuff if you want to learn the the landscape of the exam you know four hours seventy percent uh, but they also have frequently asked questions here uh, that you should become familiar with before you even walk into any sort of penetration testing course. Alright, so I showed you the brochure, also what you will learn, different white papers and class assessments. These are all you know free resources that you can get directly from EC Council. But it's basically, the long story short here, is attend training, uh, prepare for the exam by taking your practice test questions and then go take your exam. And if you do that successfully you should have no problem with passing. If you don't do that successfully, well, then you'll find yourself taking classes again. 
So uh, I just showed you the exam information. Facility information would be specifically related to on-site. We do all of our training through online webinars and uh, an evening um, mentoring group. So if you're interested in that, we can have you and help you online. Uh, but I want to stress the importance of learning this stuff is is really directly related to you actually be able to do it. I don't want to talk about doing it. Um, I, I don't want you reading about how to do it. Uh, I want you to actually do it. And it's been in our experience so that if you actually can do the stuff, well, then you'll have no problem passing your exam. While the class speed in a traditional five-day course is very, very fast to the point where, you know, you're blowing through 2,000 slides, uh, our course is a little bit different because we uh, effectively can not only be backwards compatible with several courses, but we've got this course broken down into under 20 sheets of paper, basically 20 mind maps. So if you have no problem learning the material through what I'm showing you right here, then you will learn this material much more effective and much more efficient. Also, don't forget, stick around to the end because uh, I'm going to be giving you some free resources just for watching this video. Also, with EC Council Training, you get the CertifiedHacker.com website and a, uh, a portal which you can log into and uh, test your hacking skills in an isolated, controlled environment. Also, anybody that's taking any sort of training, this is where we have to distinguish between good guys, the white hats, uh, bad guys, the black hats, and the gray hats who kind of dabble in between. As certified ethical hackers, you would sign a non-disclosure agreement. Basically, uh, you know, you, we don't want to, you know, give out the answers to the exam or anything like that because that doesn't help the industry or you. Um, so there's always a, a non-disclosure agreement with any sort of training that you would, um, would take. For example, the CEH version 9 exam or even our training. And that's really it. That's the overview and introduction for the Certified Ethical Hacker exam. Now, I told you I'd give you some free resources, so I want to back up here uh, to my website. Uh, and if you go, if I go all the way back to the beginning here, and you go under self-study courses and go into the penetration testing, getting started, all right, this is our, our penetration testing course, basically. Uh, we're going to talk about, you know, the three free tools that you can get from a master CEH instructor, in this case myself. So all you have to do is basically click on the link right here, sign up, and I will send you basically a CEH study checklist. I will share with you some of my mind maps. I'm always giving those away in small increments uh, for free. So uh, I want to make the case why I learned 2,000 slides when you can learn, you know, 20 mind maps. Uh, and realistically, you can be extremely, extremely effective and efficient with just 20 sheets of paper as opposed to, you know, 2,000 slides that you may never see again. And also, you can try our classroom for free. On the previous menu here, uh, in under the self-study courses, Right. If you go to the red team hacking and penetration testing overview, you can sample our our course basically for free, and you can see what the remainder of the course is. Right. So you know, I cover like the flow of each module, the overview of the labs, and uh, you know the different kind of quizzes here to start testing your knowledge on certain materials. So we get into the advanced stuff that other people aren't going to get into, like Linux hacking and physical security and Google hacking and, you know, the different hacking laws and, uh, you know, uh, how not to go to prison being an ethical hacker or penetration tester. So you can also try these resources for free as you well. But it all starts with basically going right to Certified Ethical Hacker and getting started with our online penetration testing course so I can go ahead and email you a handful of just free stuff that you'll absolutely love and will totally uh, accelerate and turbocharge your learning curve with a certified ethical hacker so all you gotta do send me the free resources and uh, my name is Leo Dreger go ahead and click on the link and uh, I will send you the free resources and best of luck to you when it comes to getting certified as a penetration tester or ethical hacker.